August Beauty MTs. I had 43 products to finish for the rest of this year. Let's see how I've done this month. I was actually in a better space uh, in the latter half of August as a result of uh, my granddad being moved to a hospice where he's currently undergoing physical therapy as well as neuro rehabilitation. So hopefully, as a result, you know, my self-care did improve substantially. So there are more products in here than there were in July, actually. And, you know, there are better products as well. The first product that I finished is the Zit Sticker. All gone. I've got four more waiting to be opened. This is a product without which I will not be, unless, you know, an alternative comes to the market and that is less expensive and, you know, performs better or something. This is basically an acne patch with micro dots. So when you apply the patch, the micro dots pierce your skin and deliver medication and that medication is a sodium hyaluronate hyaluronic acid oligopeptide 76 a peptide salicylic acid and niacinamide so niacinamide and salicylic acid both helping with acne the other two hydrating and healing product and the problem is that while these are not soap proof they do stay on for about 12 hours i i apply mine before i go to bed and you know the next morning when i wash my face it does fall off but you know it does make the pimple smaller and I've had a lot of acne, thanks to the stress over granddad's illness. So I'll always be repurchasing this. Will I repurchase it? Already got four, like I said. The next product is from Tata Harper. It is the purifying cleanser. Uh, this is a clay cleanser, actually. Um, and I can tell you that the bottle did fall down, glass bottle, two times. And the bottle itself did not really break, but there were some minor cracks in this area yeah you can see some glass chipped off but you know the bottle itself did not break very very nice will i repurchase this cleanser no and i'll tell you why there are other clay cleansers in the market that cost a lot less and perform equally well bren clear Cut clay cleanser is possibly my favorite clay cleanser and that costs about i don't know 17 quid 18 quid about that you know less if you have a little fantastic voucher or something this, you know, this price I will be repurchasing. Toner is next. This is from Pure County. You'll know it is not the essence toner that I showed you last month. This is the mist toner. All gone. Um, this is very, very lightweight. Far more lightweight than the essence toner. So why did I buy it, you ask? It's oil-free, by the way. Um, I bought it because this is ideal to sandwich um, with Hada Lover. The essence toner is a standalone. This is not a standalone. It works better with hyaluronic acid. Will I repurchase Pretty Hub? Next is Essence, and this is from Mison. It is the first Essence Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate, 94.5%. All gone, as you can see. But this is actually supposedly a dupe for the SK2 Essence. And the SK2 Essence, I went through a few uh, minis of the SK2. No, I didn't invest in a full size, thankfully. And over time, I realized that it wasn't really doing anything for my face, you know, not anything noticeable. See, I never quite understood the hype surrounding SK2. It was nice, yeah, something that you apply on your face. But, you know, what is the long-term benefit? What were the visible results on my face? Hardly anything to speak of. So, yeah, this one as well, nice. It didn't really blow me away. Did my face, did my acne scars become smaller? My face is incredibly plump and hydrated. The retinol flaking all gone. Breakout stop, no. Visible results not quite there with SK2, but this may be galactomyces ferment filtrate, something that my skin doesn't really care much about, you know, whatever. So I won't be repurchasing that one either. The next is from Dr. Suracle. This actually came in the Skin City Advent Candle last year. This is actually full size, believe it or not. This is the Royal Vita Propolis 33 Ampoule. Uh, very nice. I prefer the Wish Trend Propolis slightly more. The problem with this is that. The contents became contaminated by the time I got to around so much and I just had to pour this down the drain literally after about so much because for some reason there were these uh, not bubbles and kind of particles inside now I don't put the dropper on my skin I take some product uh, from the dropper without the dropper touching my skin then apply pat 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 that's how I do it uh, so I don't understand where the contamination came from, but you know, it's quite gross. Ew, uh, I'm going to be repurchasing this. The wish trend has never been contaminated so far. Serum is next. This is from Laid Bear. This is the From Dusk Till Dawn Vitamin C Serum. Um, 
I didn't love this anymore. I used to because it was something like 15 quid for per bottle and, you know, a nice vitamin C. But now my skin hates all kinds of oils. So this contains evening primrose oil, which my skin likes, black currant seed oil, which my skin is indifferent to, and carrot seed oil, which my skin doesn't really seem to like. And it oxidized extremely quickly, practically turned brown. So this is my third or fourth bottle of it. I won't be repurchasing after this. At first I liked this and then my skin stopped liking it. But my skin did love the Kobayashi Keishimin, sorry for the mispronunciation, emulsion. This was the, yeah, this is actually a refill. It is over, believe it or not, and the bottle's gone into the wash. Um, it is basically uh, an emulsion that you apply above your serum a rather thick white product um, it helps amazingly well with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and dark spots beyond anything else that I, incredible i must say will i repurchase or decline um, i highly recommend this if you are somebody prone to getting dark spots on your face post acne two bath and body products the first one is from a brand that i love human plus kind it is called uh, this is actually an irish brand um, and this is their hand, elbow and foot cream. Um, I usually like this for travel because hand cream, elbow cream, foot cream, all in one go. But I haven't traveled anywhere in ages and I don't think I will travel anywhere for, for ages thanks to this pandemic. So I thought I might as well use it up before the expiry date. So beautiful product, human plus kindest brand that I'd love to see more of. I'd love to see, I mean, they don't really sell all over the place, do they? I mean, I'd love to see more from them. Lastly, this is a product that I have actually repurchased. I mean, this is a repurchase. This is from Tony Moby. This is their moisture cream, shiny foot. It's a foot cream. Um, decent, decent, quite nice. Kept my feet hydrated, heels soft, no cracks or anything. Decent. Will I repurchase? Yeah, at a pinch. Why not? So, nine products used up this month. Nine, yeah. And that leaves me, I mean, I had 43 to finish up. So that leaves me with 34 products to finish up in September, October, November and December. Four months, 34 products. That's um, between eight and nine products per month. Will I get there? You need to subscribe and stay tuned and ring the notification bell to find out. I would love to know what you have finished up this month. Uh, tag me, send me your pictures of your empties. Tell me what you finished up, what you loved, what you didn't love, if you used any of these. Do tell me about those, your experience as well, in the comments below. I'd love to know if you've tried Zitstika and what you think. It's amazing. I call it the innovation of, I don't know, the beauty innovation of the decade even. So, those are my MTs. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do hit the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell and I'll speak to you soon.